party post muscle mutt, ding dong rhubarb, spark plug and studs. Anybody doing a wrong thing better watch out, these caps is rough. Yeah, anytime there's a rumble out west, who do you call? You call the best, cause everyone knows it's simple as that. The best in the west is the Hound Cats. Yeah, anytime there's a rumble out west, who do you call? You call the best, cause everyone knows it's simple as that. The best in the west is the Hound Cats. Meteor land. Scientists claim the meteor's properties are priceless. The meteor is being delivered from San Francisco to a secret government island for study and safekeeping. <laughs> Soon that meteor will be mine, Sharky. And with your latest submarine, Captain, not even a hound cat can stop you. There she is, our passage to two wonderful weeks vacation on a cruise to relaxation. And eating. And playing shuffleboard. And eating. And sunbathing. And eating. And relaxing in the deck chairs while the swaying ships rock us to sleep. And eating. All this swaying and eating, I'm getting woozy. Yeah, let's get aboard before Muscle Mutton makes us all seasick. Well, I'm ready to start the relaxing part of this vacation right now. Uh-oh, there goes our vacation. Yes, it's probably a message from the chief with another mission for us. Relax, fellas. He probably just wants to wish us a bon voyage. Good afternoon, Houndcats. This is your chief speaking. A huge meteor which landed in the desert recently is at this moment being loaded aboard this very ship and is being transported to a secret island for safekeeping. Bon voyage, huh? Information has reached us that your old nemesis, Captain Blight, will attempt to get the meteor. Your mission is to make sure the meteor reaches its destination safely and recapture Captain Blight. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Five seconds! <laughs> Lucky we didn't play the flip sign. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. Muscle Mutt, your job is to stay here and guard the meteor. The rest of us will use Rhubarb's gondola gawker gizmo to keep a lookout for Captain Blight. Okay, let's go. Har, there be the ship, Sharky. <laughs> Getting that meteor will be an easy task. Everything ready, Rhubarb? Say, say, Mon Capitan. First, I'll get your cable lifeline set. Then I pull this lever. Gee, that doesn't seem big enough, Rhubarb. Don't speak too soon, Ding. Watch. Here we go. Okay, everybody, keep a sharp eye out for Captain Blight. I'll use the binoculars. I'll use the spy glasses. With my multi-peaker, I can look forwards, backwards, up, down, sideways, left, right, north, south, east, and west, all at the same time. But I'll have to admit, it does have a few drawbacks. <laughs> ah, what be this? A gondola gawker gizmo. That could mean only one thing, the Harned Cats. Might have known they'd be assigned to this mission. Quick, Sharky, activate the telescopic cable cutter. Aye, aye, sir. I, I don't see anything, Stutz. Just 
keep looking. Hey, what's going on? Somebody cut the cable. Okay, Sharky, surface and pull alongside the ship. All right, Sharky, bring aboard that meteor. Aye, aye, Captain. Here. Guess it didn't like it here on Earth and it's going back to where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Sharky. Everything went off as planned. Now set a course for my secret island. If we don't figure a way out to, to get down pretty soon, we'll wind up being a meteor. Robot. Can't you put your expert mechanical mind to work and come up with a highly scientific plan to get us down? Hmm. Now, let me see. I've got it. We let the air out of the balloon. I'll do it. Let me do it. <laughs> oh, let me out. Let me out. Out of the balloon. Let me out. Boy, my very favorite delicious blueberry pie. <laughs> now look what you did to my pie. Well, never mind your pie. What happened to the meteor? I don't know. Maybe it flew south for the winter. Flew south for the winter. Oh, boy. Captain Blight has outsmarted us and has the meteor. And if you hound cats don't want to be known as the pussy cats, we better get it back. Okay, Sparky, old boy, let's go. Over the side. Come on, Spark Plug. The water's warm this time of year. <laughs> he won't go because he thinks he's walking the plank. Well, if he doesn't go so we can get that meteor back, the chief will have us all walking the plank. Sorry, Sparky, but you'll leave me no other choice. Uh-huh, perfect. We'll be launched in a jiffy. Now I'll switch on the marine mecho motion rig. Uh, why the ancient way of sailing, Robart? We have to travel silently, so my ping ponger will work. Ping ponger? What's that? It's my underwater listening device, which we're going to use to locate Captain Blight's submarine. It's really very simple. When I pull this string, the mallet hits the bell, which sends out a sound wave. When the sound wave hits an object, it bounces back into the receiver and presses it. I know where the sub is. Okay, here goes. <laughs> I found Captain Blight's submarine. It's that way. Turn around, spark plug, and follow that pong. Hold it. It's over that away. No, nope. it's this away. <laughs> that away. <laughs> uh, this way. No, that way. No, over this way. No. Back that way. Hold it. Hold it. You ping ponged everything in the Pacific except Blight Sop. Well, nobody's perfect. Yeah, even the guy that built that shower pipe in the middle of the ocean goes too. That's no shower pipe. That's a periscope. That's got to be Blight Submarine. And it's heading right for that island. Well, what are we waiting for? Hi, ho, Spark Plug! Away! Hey, look! Blight Sub is going in a secret garage. Uh, that's a secret cove, Ding. A secret cove? How cozy. That must be Blight's Island Fortress Mansion up there on the hill. The plan is to go ashore and come up with a super foolproof plan. Wow! This island looks like a prehistoric jungle. Wonder if there's any dinosaurs in there. Muscle Mutt, you've just given me an idea for a gigantic-sized plan. What am I supposed to do with this caveman outfit? And what am I supposed to be doing? Looking for Dr. Livingston? It's all part of Operation Prehistoric Island. First, we're going to make Captain Blight think the island is filled with cavemen and dinosaurs. 
It'll be easy for me to do that. Second, Ding and Rhubarb will sneak aboard Blight's submarine and re-rig the controls. Third, we make it look like the island is being overrun by prehistoric beasts. And fourth, we make it appear a volcano is erupting, making Blight flee the island with the meteor and into our trap. <laughs> we took that meteor right from under those horn cat noses, Sharky. <laughs> Aye, they don't stand a chance when they try to match wits with you, huh, Captain Blight? Who's that? I don't know. This Ireland is supposed to be deserted. Huh, I'll go see. You must flee from this island and warn the world! What be you talking about? Who are you? I'm Professor Putty Little, and I've been lost in the jungle for 50 years. Oh, those dinosaurs, those cavemen, and the gaboom! Gaboom? What be a gaboom? Oh, the gaboom is worst of all! Well, what's that? Oh, no! It's it! I gotta go before it finds me. Captain, <laughs> look. Uh, it looks like a dinosaur. Impossible. Come on, let's get a better look at that. <laughs> this pogo foot ought to fool him. <laughs> Jim, look at that footprint. It must be a yard wide. We better look around the island and check out that explorer's story. Hi. And find out what a gaboom is. Wow, Captain Blight's taking the bait. Now to signal Ding and Rube with the Heloscope Horizon signal device and put the next step of our plan into operation. Ah, the sun's reflection in the mirror is perfect. There's that signal, Rube. Well, batten down the hatches. The two-man sea sneaker it is underway. No sign of any dinosaurs yet. Uh-huh. Here comes Captain Blight now. Are you ready with your pterodactyl disguise, Putty Puss? I'm ready, Stutz. And away we go! Ark! Ark! What be that? Ark! Ark! A mask there! Believe it, a prehistoric bird. Oh, I, I thought they were extinct. Ark! Ark! <laughs> if they flew like me, no wonder they're extinct. Keep a shark lookout, Sharky. There may be more of those weird creatures around. Hi, Captain. Here we are, Dink. Captain Blight, submarine. Did you bring our clothes? Yes, I got them. Let's get aboard. Where do they keep the main controls in the submarine, Rhubarb? In the main control room, naturally. You're a lot of help. <laughs> this is it, the main control room. Wow! Where do we start? In the tool compartment. If I haven't got it, I'll invent it. How you doing, Dang? Great! With this four-headed hammer, I'd get finished four times as fast. If that's the alarm, I'm finished. Damn! That's the alarm. Let's kadoo. <laughs> Hold it. Now, what were you two doing in the control room? Um, uh, sir, um, uh, we're, um, plumbers. Yeah, uh, Captain Blight went for us to fix a leak. Well, just to be safe, I'll have to keep you here till I check out your story with Captain Blight. Uh-oh. Now we're in for it. He's phoning Captain Blight. Don't give up the ship yet, Ding. What's that? This is my magnum mouth mimicker. Here, hook these to that phone wire. Right. By selecting the proper mouthpiece, I can imitate anybody's voice. A twist to the right, and I'll sound like Captain Blight. Hello, Captain Blight? Yes, this is Captain Blight. What be on your minds? Couple of swabs here claim to be plumbers and say that you sent for them. That's 
right, I did. Leave them alone and let them finish their workings. Okay, Captain. Sorry, I didn't know. Well, that's funny. Captain sounded like he was sucking on a lemon. <laughs> okay, get on with your work and then shove off. Look, Sharky. It is a caveman. Hmm. Big carrot looks good enough to eat. <laughs> No doubt about it, Captain. This is a prehistoric island. Aye. Let's go see if he can talk. We've got to find out what a kaboom is. Ahoy, caveman. We be friends. We talk with you. Yes? Hug? Growl! <laughs> I, I don't think he understands you, Captain. Don't be feared. I'll try sign language. We, friend, we want to talk. Talk. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, ooga, booga, goo. <laughs> uh, he thinks we're hungry, Captain. Take it, Sharky. We don't want to offend this gorilla. Oh, this stuff tastes like cardboard. <laughs> you never find out what a gaboom is at this rate. Ooh, gaboom. Booga, booga, gaboom. I think we hit a nerve, Sharky. Booga, booga. Booga, booga, booga. Gaboom. I think I know... What are you trying to tell us, Sharky? There's a volcano on the island, and when it erupts, the dinosaurs go wild. Sounds like must finish his act, Stutz. Then it's time to start our act. Okay, spark plug, make it look good. <laughs> Where we'll be safe. Aye, and let's hope that volcano doesn't go gaboom. Boy, we sure got old Blight and Sharky fooled. <laughs> yeah, they're as nervous as a turkey on Thanksgiving. Well, what about the sub, Rube? The sniffer sensor's all set to sniff, sense, and steer, Stutz. Okay, Hellcats, it's time to put the final phase into operation. Operation Gaboom. The volcano! Uh, it's going kaboom! Boy, I'm sure working up a monstrous appetite! It's an earthquake! Let's get out of here before the whole island explodes! Head for the submarine! Okay, Sharky, submerge and full speed ahead! Here they come, Stutz! Okay, Hellcat! Activate the sniffer steerer sensor. Ready with the fishing pole and bait. Ready with the control box. One flick of the toggle and Blight Sub will follow the bait like a hungry mackerel after a herring. Arr, what be going on? Bring her about. Blow all ballast. No use, Captain. Uh, she won't answer to the controls. You be telling me. <laughs> That's some swallow is just like a puppy dog. <laughs> By the way, what kind of bait are you using on that sniffer sensor? Limburger cheese, of course. Well, I hope the wind is blowing the right way when we enter San Francisco Harbor. They might not let us in. <laughs> Wow, this has got to be the world's greatest catch. Yeah, I caught it, but who's gonna cook it? <laughs> Hello, Chief. Stutz, I've got some bad news and some good news. First, the bad news. Captain Blight got away with the meteor. Uh, but, uh, but, but uh, here's the good news, Chief. We captured Captain Blight and got the meteor back. 
I see. You've got some good news and bad news for us, too. Uh -huh. The good news is you forgive us for bungling the job. And the bad news is this phone booth's going to self-destruct in five seconds. Five seconds! Let's get out of here! Hey, Spark Plug, wait up! Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, this job calls for a turbine. <laughs> I wasn't even hungry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>